as in, I'm going to open your lord from balls to brains and see what stocks are made of. There are no men like me. Only me. Hey guys, it's Dancy, and I'm here with another Valyrian Steel unboxing video. Today we're going to be opening up Jaime Lannister's sword. So, this sword, just like Rob's, is a limited edition piece of 2500, this one in particular being number 254. Something I actually forgot to mention in my last video and couldn't get a super stellar shot of here is that these certificates of authenticity feature some of the original concept art of the swords. So it's kind of cool to see the sword's early inception paired with the finished project that you can actually hold in your hands. It also came with a wall mount with the familiar Lannister lion, looking regal as always. The sword itself is super gorgeous, with a double-headed lion pommel and a really sleek looking two-tone grip. The designs here are what really makes the sword stand out. My favorite part is the really ornate crossguard. I love that it looks like the gold was stretched out almost like taffy and wrapped around it. Unlike Rob's sword, which was made from high carbon steel, the Lannisters use stainless steel on their blades. You can't really tell the difference by looking at them, but anything made out of stainless is really only going to be a decorative sword and not something you're ever going to want to hit anything with. However, the really nice upside is that stainless steel doesn't need any maintenance, so you can just hang it up and forget about it. Whereas with high carbon, you'll have to take the time to maintain it regularly, or eventually it'll rust on you. I think what really makes this piece special is the story behind it. Jamie's most infamous for being a Kingslayer, and this would have been the sword that he actually plunged through the heart of the Mad King. So it's really cool to look at it and be reminded of one of Jamie's big and defining character moments, and a really important turning point in Westeros' recent history. So I gotta say that's definitely what makes the sword special to me. Anyways, that's about it guys. If you're interested in buying one for yourself, head over to valyriansteel.com, I'll put a link in the description. They've still got lots left, but as with anything limited edition, if it's something you're interested in, I highly recommend buying it now rather than waiting until it's sold out, and the only place to get it is on eBay for like triple the price. So, I'm gonna go swing this thing around for a bit before I get back to work on some new videos for you guys. Take care.